Kogo News Time, 742. So panic attacks and anxiety episodes are now being linked to some vitamin deficiencies in a groundbreaking study. Uh, joining us on the Kogo News Live line is healthy living expert Judy Gammon. And Judy, tell us about this study. Yeah, so this is a really amazing study because we've seen that this anxiety and panic attacks, it's just the, the numbers are astounding. 40 million adults in the U.S. Uh, over the course of the year will have this. And this is where you get nervous, your heart rate goes up, maybe um, you're sweating, hyperventilating where you breathe real fast, or you just get in that excessive nagging worry. And I'm sure your listeners are going, oh, my gosh, I've done that. Well, that, they probably have because so many of, of us have. But Japan has come out and found perhaps – the key to all of this, and that is low B vitamins, B6, and low iron. And here's the chemistry behind it. Uh, you may remember tryptophan. We talk about that a lot. You hear about that a lot at Thanksgiving and such. So it's an amino acid that's necessary for elevating serotonin. Serotonin makes us happy. So B6 and iron help synthesize tryptophan. So you have the B6, you have the iron, it synthesizes the tryptophan, and then the tryptophan actually elevates serotonin levels. So you can kind of see the cycle here. All right. So we're seeing that. Oh, Go ahead, LaDonna. It, well, I, so I'm, I'm curious. I mean, all of these things, you can take them as supplements. Should we be supplementing? Well, we definitely should be uh, supplementing, and especially if you're taking certain medications, because this isn't in the study, but this is something that we really are talking a lot about at Executive Medicine, and that is looking at medications people have been put on that can de be depleting of these things. So even something as simple as antibiotics, they actually can lower the calcium, the magnesium, and the B vitamins. But antacids, which way too many people are taking, they weren't never, they were never, never meant to be taken uh, long term. Uh, although you have all these people that are on all these name brand antacids that used to be prescription went over the counter. And when they're taking them, they're actually lowering their iron levels, their B vitamins, D, calcium, folic acid. So you kind of can connect the dots here and say, oh, we have all these people on PPIs. And we have all these people having panic attacks, and it, it, there's a lot to to be said for looking at the root cause of what's causing our anxiety. Is it nutrition? Is it maybe uh, deficiency because of a medication we're taking, or is it a medication itself and a side effect thereof? Yeah, and you know, it goes back to: Do we know what? causes panic attacks is it physiological is it psychological is it a combination of both well i think there are a lot of, of different things we, we've explored so many ways in the science world and we think some of it might be environmental you get exposed to pesticides or, or different things and so you get kind of a, a, a neurological disorder from that or even if it's temporary but this study this study shows us a lot because there are people that are having these panic attacks, these, these excessive worrying episodes, and they're eating, basically they're eating well, and, and they, they don't have the usual profile. But you have to remember that even if you're eating clean, you're eating a lot of these things that have B6 and, and iron, you may not be getting enough because our food source is not what it used to be. We'll take, for example, B6, you know, chicken, turkey, fish, eggs, peanuts. So it's, it's not too hard to get that in. But when you get into to iron, we're talking shellfish, spinach, liver, lentils, chickpeas, meat, broccoli, pumpkin seeds, things that are growing out of the ground are the things that don't have the nutrients that they used to have. And even if you're eating well, you may be depleted of some of these very, very important uh, vitamins. Why, why wouldn't they be as, as nutritious as they used to be? Well, because our soil has changed, uh, and because our soil doesn't have the nutrients in it that it used to have, the food doesn't have the nutrients in it. So if we're not taking in food that's really high in nutrients, then our body isn't going to have that. If our food source is, is that source of, uh, of the nutrients. Now, it used to be that farmers would farm and then they'd either change crops or they'd rest the land. And now, because we have less and less farmers and less and less land, we're turning those crops over year and year again, and we're not getting all the nutrients that we used to, to have. We used to see. Right. And so it's, it's really a, a 
bigger global problem than we are giving it credence to, and we really need to start paying attention. Judy Gammon, healthy living expert. Thanks, Judy. Always a pleasure.